Hello you and welcome back to more of XCOM Enemy Within uh, with the bastard on a town called Bastard. Uh, this is classic Iron Man and it's uh, still going pretty well. Still going pretty well. Uh, we're getting towards the end game here. Definitely getting towards the end game. So what we need to do is just scan forward really. We've got a couple of laboratories about to be finished. We've got our last two firestorms. Going to get it be hitting the air. Um, we've got alloy cannons being developed, so let's. Uh, yep. Hurrah! And that's moved our alloy con cannon to only three days, which is nice. Whoa! Okay. Oh God! Okay, I thought this would be a nice, quick, easy episode because it's going well at the moment. But we've just had a UFO land as a supply barge. Crew size is 18. And there's at least one sector pod on board. Sector pods? Oh god. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Probably be fine. I can imagine. Okay. Let's rack up a good team, shall we? We're not going to fuck around. Uh, scavenging for XP here. Uh, we will put, um, who shall we have, we should probably have someone to try and level up, uh, uh, level up our psychic abilities. Uh, I don't know, I'm finding it hard to concentrate because I have a cat on the back of my chair. But you don't need to know about that. We'll take Magira. And uh, then at the top end we'll have Crash, and we'll have, uh, we'll take Justin, and the cat is meowing. Okay, uh, yeah, exciting times, I think they've already got their big load out, yeah. Exciting times, sector pod. <laughs> Sector pod. At least this is the first sector pod of the game, and I know they're there. I know they're coming. You know, there is that. There's that. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Enough of that. Yeah, we'll give a. Uh, we'll give Nix a backup ghost grenade there. And that. And medikits, obviously. We need to make everyone as tanky as possible. So, with that in mind, kite in plating. Uh, I can't remember what Crash has. Do you have Grenadier? Probably not. I don't know, it's scrolling really slowly. Uh, let's just have a look at your abilities. Uh, so, what does Crash have? Uh, hollow targeting. Suppression, rapid reaction, danger zone. Uh, two rockets, okay. Well then, what should we take as the other one? Uh, given that there's hollow targeting and stuff, I'm tempted to take... Uh, see, flashbangs aren't going to do that much here because um, most of the enemies will be robotic. So, I'm not too bothered about that really. We'll take a scope. And the big enemies, the alien grenades aren't going to do much against them, and it'll mostly be big enemies by the look of it. Plasma rifle. Shame we haven't got the alloy cannon yet, but what are you going to do? Okay, so what will, else will we put on Justin? That's a good question. Um, what will we put on Justin as my cat is nuzzling the back of my head? Um, yeah, the flashbang. The flashbang just ain't doing it for me. Um... Not on this level, probably. But, you know, when you never know. There might be something that can be affected by it. Uh, but equally, no, we're going to go for an alien grenade. It might come in handy for wiping things out for guaranteed damage. We'll uh, we'll, we'll take one of those. Because flashbangs aren't going to do shit against heavy floaters and sector pods and drones and all the things that I saw in that lineup. So, I think this will have to do. Uh, so, pretty much everyone is our A team. Uh, the only people who can earn XP being Devil Dog and Magira, but we do need 
Um, I wanted both the mechs anyway, and I do want someone with psychic abilities in this. I need to keep leveling up the psychics. Um, so that's why, basically. Uh, so and I thought support because I basically <laughs> basically because as at being a support he's as good as anyone because he's got field medic um, but I really need a top level sniper top level heavy and a top level assault and you know what actually crash does not have a helmet she is a colonel but she has no helmet so we're gonna change that what looks crash like um, I think that might do. Yeah, that'll do me. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh god, I hate sector pods. Sector pods are really bad, guys. They're, they're, they're really bad. They're really, really bad. Dropship has arrived. Okay, and it's a supply barge. It's a big map. Eighteen aliens. Hopefully only one of those is a sector pod, <laughs> uh, because multiple sector pods is bad. I think you, I think you can only get one sector pod per mission until the final uh, mission. I think. Well, we'll find out. Okay. How are we looking? Looks like we're slap bang in the middle of the ship. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, okay, we're going to head right. Actually, no, we're going to head left. Because I want minimal crop. My two furthest movers are on the right. And I don't want to... I want to move to maximum, but I also don't want to... Uh, Cause some kind of disparity to build up in the range of my uh, my movement. So looks like we we've got a lot of people with high health, which is good. Uh, that's good against sex pods for sure. Um, so we will hopefully. I'd love for someone to just walk in to my uh, Overwatch here. That would be especially good. That would be especially good. But we'll see what happens, eh? We'll see what happens. End up there for now. And we'll just drop some Overwatch. We're definitely not running for, uh, for meld with a sector pod around. Definitely not. Having, I don't know, someone just... Uh, chrysalids there. Having someone run into my Overwatch fire would be awesome, frankly. Okay. Yeah, we need to head over here. Okay, what we got? Two Seekers. That's not bad at all. They're an easy takeout, and the uh, the sector commander should be in there. They should be fairly easy. We'll do our usual flamethrower and flamethrower and death. Uh, well, yeah, we'll do our usual flamethrower death trick on them. So that should be fine. Um. There. We don't need to take cover for the seekers. We'll just let them come out and uh, kill them with our watch like we usually do. Should be fine. And that's two out of the 18. We need to take care of Magera though. We do need to take care of Magera because uh, it could turn nasty otherwise. We'll move too far. I was going to take a position up here, but I don't want them to decloak next to Nix and do unnecessary amounts of damage. Like I say, we're not going for that meld. Not with the sector pod around. We're going to play this nice and safe. I think I'll get some meld just from recovering the crash ship anyway, so I'll be fine. Oh, hello. Decloak there. Interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not a healthy thing to do. Two misses. Is it going to decloak and fire as well? That's annoying. They never ever do that. Well, okay then. That's annoying. Um. Should I go up there? I should probably just take care of him first. You only got forty-two percent chance there. Okay. Might as well try and get some uh, XP out of the whole thing. Hopefully, won't trigger someone else. Nope. Really? That's rubbish. Well, it wasn't too bad, I suppose. Um, it wasn't that surprising. Come on, get the kill. Uh, fine. Fine, we'll go with someone else. On my way. He won't get XP for it. Still 65%. If I don't kill this guy with my entire squad, I I won't be best pleased. I have to confess. Sixty-six, two fifty-ones. Okay, this is starting to get annoying. Do you have bullet swarm? I don't think you do. Oh, uh, you do have hollow targeting though, which I should have used from the beginning. That'll teach me. Oh my god. <laughs> Nix. Nix. Surely you can do a horrifically good shot with 75%. Okay, well that's done anyway. Yeah, no shit. Only one Overwatch as well. Which is unfortunate. That big stompy sound. That's a sex pod. That's a sex pod. It's a sex pod. Okay, let's uh, try and do a two-way breach. Let's get everyone just up here first, I think. Let's just get everyone up here. I'm on my way. You can go in that way with fire. Just need to re do a load of reloads on everyone, really. You can also oh, yeah. breach from there. First, you're going to heal yourself. I can't believe I took a. They just decloaked a fire ahead of me. That's uh, <coughs> very unusual for seeker behaviour. Uh, no, I do need to reload. Well, pretty much everyone. Ready to engage. You can go here, Ready perhaps. Now. Take up a position, you're not going to be that much use with the breach. Aye, aye, Commander. Just reload on everyone before we uh, set off. Moving out. And loaded. Yeah, that melts down, that's fine. That's to be expected, frankly. Um, could you move across here, please? Like it says you can. Uh, okay. There we go. I'm on it, Commander. Might see someone down the middle here. Nope. Okay. 
Justin can move that. And crash. Can move there and we'll move into a better breaching position. Uh, shortly. I guess, I guess you can maybe move here. Yes. Whatever you said in Spanish. I think it was Spanish. I have no knowledge of these things. See, I'm hoping I won't breach here. And then they'll just flee that direction. But, um, to be honest, it seems likely. Um, but so it goes. Aye, aye, Commander. Now, please don't get ourselves into ridiculous trouble. Uh, also, if you let me select people, that would be handy. Affirmative, Commander. I'll do. And over here, oh, we can do this again. Okay. We can do some good rocketing from there. We do have two rockets. And we'll move Nix. Ah, no, not there. Over here. <coughs> and then if they flee through that door, one might end up lurking and Nix can take a sniper shot, so that's not too bad. I'd rather breach from the other side, I think. But I don't want to go over there in case there's something hovering there, basically. Um, so, yeah. Of watching everyone, and then next turn we'll uh, we'll go in. And these should be sectoid commanders in here. There's a possibility there'll be something else as well. Um, but taking out the sectoid commanders now is not a bad idea. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the best thing to do. Let's see what's in here with Justin. Yep, just a couple of sectoid commanders. Yeah, I knew they got there. Rubbish. But with that grouping, is it worth just rocketing them? Taking out that cover. That's not a bad idea. But we might be able to just get them with something nastier. Let's see if we can let's see if we can torch them. I think this this should burn through. Because there are so many robotic things on here, I don't mind wasting a flamethrower. In case it doesn't work. No, it's just one of them. Okay. But yeah, it's panicked. Oop -da -da. Let's see them on this side and hopefully not spawn something else. Uh, really? Can't see down there? Okay. Interesting. I'm on my way. Norma, get us some line of sight, please. There it is. Why can't I see it from here? That's ridiculous. Um, okay. 85% to hit. I'm taking those odds. 11 damage. Should be able to finish him off with Justin. Doing a run and gun, maybe. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't uh, do anything. Uh, can't see from there. Okay, fine. Um, I'm gonna go here. Is it worth a mind fray? Actually, two percent. No. Um, okay. Sixty-six percent. Is that it? Fine. Not fine. Uh, so what else have I got? Can take a pistol shot from here. Might as well. Uh, and I've got suppression. Should I suppress or should I kill? We'll find out. We'll find out. Oh, actually. Really? You you can't 
you can't see in that direction at all to throw a grenade. I don't understand what's blocking his vision. Uh, okay, fine. Rubbish. Please don't expose a sect pod or something. No, okay. 96% hit. That will do me. Okay, so. What have we got? 65% to kill or suppression. And it's gonna move. And that opens up hollow targeting. Crash, you're rubbish. Taking someone over, that's fine. Because they're about to die. Okay. Let's do a punch blank shot with Megara, shall we? Can we do a point blank mind fray actually? What's the inspiration? Remove mind fray and panic. Okay. It's still 2%. It's because he's a um, sectoid commander. Just shoot him. There we go. X rays spotted. I don't like the sound of that. Where are X rays? Just gather on this side. Is that still active? That's still active. Can we just get up here then? Let's jet boot up there. Gaining Moving out. Alien material nice. Cool. Now what? Okay, we'll just take some uh, fresh kind of cover in here. Just crash. Crash doesn't move. Oh, because of mind control. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. I guess you can um, run back down, to be honest. And then we'll proceed down the rest of the uh, the space the spaceship to the front, and hopefully that will pick up everything. We've only killed four so far. So there are fourteen aliens still around here. Um, at least one sec of them is a sectopod. We've got some chrysalids, some heavy floaters. So we'll see what comes of that. I think that's the sectopod. I think it's going to be smack bang in the middle down there. Yep, I think that's the sectopod. In which case, we're going to fully prepare ourselves before we engage. Which involves reloading everyone. Definitely reloading everyone. We've got all the melds that we can get now, so that's, you know, fine. Yeah, I think the sex pod is probably around there. We'll find out, eh? We will find out. You hear that? I don't like that. Ah, okay. Oh, God. Well, that's not ideal. Everything turning up at once. What are these down here? Are these mutons? Yeah. I'm not sure they've seen me. Muton elites at that. I'm not sure they've seen me. We 
could just pull back and try to engage these guys in the best way possible. Can we? It's five damage, unfortunately, but we can grenade these bastards for almost all their damage. Is there much point? Because I think on one shot from most of these things will kill. Um, actually, I'm quite tempted to flamethrower them. I'm quite tempted to flamethrower them. If I move forward, I think I trigger those mutons. And I don't think they can see me at the moment. Hmm, questions, questions. I could rocket them. I mean, they are a great rocket target. I think I can deal with these chrysalids with the others, and if I can rock it with Crash, then that's not a bad idea. I might go here with Devil Dog, yeah. And then Flamethrower, these guys. That'll be two chrysalids down. Nice. And... No one can get out this side now, which is which is fine. Um, can I actually... I can probably kill them anyway. Um, I'm, I'm going to try first. Because I thought... I, I was thinking they had a shotgun, which of course he doesn't. Um, I'll take two 73 shots, thank you. Nice. Oh god, but it left Crash open. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Oh, that's so annoying. Right, well, we're going to have to pull back. We're going to have to move okay. back here and go into Overwatch. That's really annoying. I need the cover. I think these guys are going to wander into me, so... No, they're wandering away, most of them. Okay. Nice! We might still have a good rocket target when they're done. If these guys move forward. Yeah, okay. Nope. So what are that's another three dead, so that's eleven aliens left. Okay. We need some line of sight. On those guys. Or do we? Can we just rock it regardless? Might not be a bad idea. No, I don't know if they're close enough. That might have a number of them, but I simply do not know. Uh, well, we're obviously going to move forward with Justin. Okay. Looks like that is a good spot for a rocket still. Let's try and get them. That's lovely, actually. That is lovely. Come on, Crash. Do the rocket thing. Nice. Ooh. Some others. Down there. Oh, heavy floaters. Okay. Can't see anyone on Nyx, which is a bit annoying. Chance of alien doing any significant alien grenade damage? No, they're just out of range. So you know what the best thing to do is, don't you? The best thing to do, my friends. Gun. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. I'll pull back here. And we'll drop our watch. We're going to lay a nice tight overwatch trap for these guys. Yep. Probably shouldn't be in cover there. Next to that, but fuck it. Should I just take that shot? I might not get a better one than 74%. Yeah, glad I did. Might not get a better overwatch shot than 74%, so that's probably a pretty good pretty good bet to have taken. Hopefully these guys won't get grenaded. Hopefully they'll dash forward and uh, straight into overwatch range. On someone. Well, let's first. I'll get him next time. Nice. Come on, hop up here. No? Okay. That's, that's some good targets for grenades right there, though. In fact, I might just rock it again. If I rock it just here, I should get those mutons as well. Shame I can't get. I can't get both. Okay. That's probably a good, damn good idea. Yep. Bye bye rockets. Oh, it did get them. <laughs> Don't know why I went over there, but fine. Whoop. I need some line of sight down there, really. Can I get it with Justin? Lightning reflexes. Ooh, shot from all the way back there. Now here's a question. Can I just... One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I just, just grenade some of these guys out of existence? They're just all clustered together. It, they're not going to be kills, I don't think, but um, it's still tempting, to be honest. That's a hell of a shot. Uh, and I'm probably going to get 44, 70, and a 59 over there. Okay. Um, but I can actually do a low damage just with two grenades. With two grenades, I can wipe out these guys. And uh, now, let me think about this. Let's think a second. Okay, so that was three Muton Elites. I think and three heavy floaters, so that's six. So that leaves me with eight still on the map. And I'm taking out all my AoE stuff. But, on the other hand, that's kind of what AoE is for. Um, well, let's take a shot on Devil Dog first and see how that goes, and then we can calculate whether it's going to be worth it. Okay. Maybe we can... Get away without this. Um, crash is already gone. Let's just slightly advance. Unfortunately, we can't take that shot, but uh, okay. Now, so what have we got left? That's probably going to hit and kill. Yeah, having taken out that other floater now, it, it seems a bit, almost a bit redundant, but um, we're not going to get anything with Megara though, that's the thing. Um, hmm. 
We still have all our ghost grenades, but we've lost both flamethrowers and we have both rockets, so now we have three grenades left. And do we want to use two of them on just mopping up these guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. And now that's five damage. I have seen them do more. Uh, fuck it. Well, we got the other shot. Maybe I should have done this to begin with. Fuck it. Let's take them out. They are mutant elites. They can do a hell of a lot of damage. Let's just take them out. These grenades and stuff aren't going to be any good against the sector pod anyway, really. Because we're better off doing high proportion damage on the sector pod. So, oh, laser pistol overwatch. You, yeah, to be honest, you just sit back there and reload, Megara. You get another, oh, of course, you get another shot, yeah. Um, is overwatch worth it? I doubt he'll. Yeah, might as well. Might as well flick overwatch on, but I think he's just going to run away. No, he did take a shot. Okay. Ouch. Now you see, that's why I know he needed to take them out, really. But, here we go. This is going to finish it off. 100%. There we go. So I think that's 8 left now. Which is good. Uh, double tap. Well, that's great, but... Uh, useless. <laughs> great, but useless. Um... Okay, you go around here, Megara, please. And Justin can retreat and get healed. Because those... Uh, yeah, they pack a punch, on Elites. Heal 6 at HP. We've got another medkit left, and we've got um, the... Uh, whatever it's called. Uh, restorative Mist, so... But we're going to spend a turn reloading, essentially. We'll move here so that we can just see, make sure we know what's going on down there, but... And, yeah, just reload on everyone, really. Ready to do everything. Okay. I can still hear that sector part. Where are you? Now, do I want to head down here? Or do I want to go around one of the sides? Cause here's 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 a fucking kill zone, you know. <laughs> I don't like it on there down there. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to head down one of the sides instead. Uh, and you know what? I'll head down this side because I'm fairly sure the other side's clear. So we'll we'll go down here. Okay. And as before, we are going to go nice and slow. Nice and slow. Heading there now. It's good to um, to actually have a mission because the last couple of missions have been, you know, cakewalks. It's good to have something to realise that the challenge is actually ratcheting up, you know, Let's do this. to match my uh, increased tech ability. And you, my friend, are going to go just up here for now. So you can get some nice shots from up there. Okay. And having some heavy floaters or crystals just wander around into our overwatch would be lovely, but uh, chances of it are probably pretty slim. Yeah, if there's eight left, well, well there's some drones. I haven't met drones yet. Look. Okay, that's fine. Heading to that location. See what we can see. Nothing. That's fine. Shouldn't be putting the gear in front, really, but uh, so it goes. 
yeah, I shouldn't be letting these two outpace everyone else at all, but uh, we'll move uh, Justin at a dash. Should we push one person down the centre? No, I don't want to split them up. That'll do. Keep people a bit more cohesive. Still got a bit of a watch. Uh, you can actually reload. Okay, so there's something over here. That may well be the uh, sector pod. Just move there for now. Then we can move to here next turn. Get some nice line of sight. We're only going to move a little bit up for now. Get uh, ourselves in the right order. In the right order. <laughs> Just in case someone barrels over the top, you never know. It's better than doing nothing. Moving to position. Good to go. Okay. Come on, I can only really hear the sector pod. Which makes me worry that there's more than one sector pod. Because uh, it's. Well, there's 18 units, you see. Can't really hear anything else at the moment. Sector pod's only one unit, you know? Okay. I think that around there is definitely a sector pod. Let's see if I can see something with. Nope. We're only going to shuffle forward a wee bit here, because I want to be able to engage him on my terms, because the last thing you want is a sector pod to catch you kind of unawares. If you're kind of experiencing XCOM for the first time through this series, um, and therefore haven't seen a sector pod yet, I assure you, I'm not um, over-exaggerating for the sake of drama. They are terrifying opponents. Very potent. You can do multiple attacks a turn. Uh, they do a lot of AoE damage. Well, they can do a lot of AoE damage. And if they do single target damage, it's it's phenomenal. Uh, they could easily kill a, a Titan armored uh, soldier in a, a couple of shots. I'm just going to edge up. Yeah, could give it one more turn to get everyone into the positions I want them to be in. Because I think it's just around that corner. Heading to that location. And I want to get the maximum number of shots off on it in one turn that I possibly can, with the maximum amount of potential damage. If I can kill it with my first salvo, that would be amazing. Because um, they're also really hard to hit, despite being huge lumbering mech creatures. Um, they have like, I don't know whether it's meant to be a kind of hollow field or something. They kind of dodge your shots a lot, which is a bit weird. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I heard something. Did you now? Right, there's definitely one nearby. Okay, we've got a, we've got a poker head out soon, are you? Ultimately, uh, but first, I'm actually I'm what I'm actually the person I'm actually going to go with first is oh no, I'm not going to go with Crash first. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, I need to kind of yeah, I need to be as far forward as possible, really. Okay, they're not there. They are somewhere. And somewhere close. Yeah, boy. 
must be in this front section then. I'm expecting a lot more aliens by now, to be honest. We, cause we definitely haven't fought 15. We haven't seen any drones or... Uh, yeah, I don't know what that's about, really. Gonna have to do a multiple pre breach on this door as well. So apologies, I'm gonna have to take it... Uh, Take it slow approaching there. But you know. You don't come here for rash play, do you? You come here for partially competent, cautious play. Having it burst out those doors now or something would be phenomenal. <laughs> well, it won't burst out of those because it wouldn't fit through those. Um, yeah, they're pretty big. What is making that noise? It's the only thing I can hear. Um, it'll have some drones. But let's think about this. It said 18. I'm pretty sure it said 18 aliens. There were two seekers. So that's 16. Two sector commanders. So that's 14. And then we had... Yeah, well then we had, I think, three... Uh, well, we had three chrysalids. So that's 11. Three heavy floaters. So that's... Eight. And then three mutant elites, so that's... Yeah, actually it's five, not eight I'm waiting for. So, huh. On the move. Oh well, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. In some way. Uh, five, so I could, that could be... Um, so it could be a sectopoid. Sectopoid? Sectopod and two drones. Um... They do tend to, uh... Moving to position. Moving. They do tend to have drones to heal them, which is very annoying. Oh uh, god, I hope it's not... I really hope it's not a couple of sector parts. That would be just so bad. Well, you're going to have to go down here, aren't you, really? Because you're not going to be able to shoot through there now. So all that's uh, high cover. Amounts to naught. But that's fine. That's fine. Our big advantage is that we've still got two ghost grenades. That's that's our significant advantage. So we can we can advance very close to the sector pod. We can do a bit of fainting work, which is nice. Okay, those are drones. I think it's a sector pod with some drones through there. Okay. Sector pod with some drones. We'll be, we might be in a breaching capacity as soon as next turn. Yeah, I think we'll be in a breaching capacity next turn. As long as I can dash Nyx over to that side. Which I should be able to. Yep. Oh god. This is tense. It's tense, man. This is tense. Yeah, it's somewhere around here. I think it's been patrolling across there. So, let's see what we can see, guys. Because it ain't going to go away. Being able to double tap something right now would be... Oh, no. I really wanted to see what it was. It's right there. It is right there. Let's have a look on the other side. I'm tempted to do a turn of overwatch. Yeah, I'm going to do a turn of overwatch just in case it makes a mistake. Because I'm getting a full round of full overwatch on it before it gets a chance to do anything would be pretty damn good. Let's see whereabouts it's moving. Oh, it's, it's it could be there, it could be further over here. I think I'm going to have to move out. I don't think there's any uh, anything else I can do, really. Because I can always pull back and do Overwatch. Right, okay. Oh, it's a mechtoid, okay. So that's a mechtoid and a sectoid commander. Well, that could be worse. Um, it could be better. 
My freaking god. And straight into Overwatch. Oh, Devil Dog. Oh, Devil Dog. <laughs> uh, well, you're getting, uh, you're probably getting ghost grenaded. Um. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, that, that's, that's not good. That's not good. Um. Go straight into Overwatch. That's the problem. Um, can we break that Overwatch with a suppression shot and move him back, and then wipe out the drones straight away and do a bit of? Uh, I don't think we can. Well, we can. It would just involve uh, moving before we launch, because I don't want to do five damage to Devil Dog if I can help it. That's uh, a bit counterproductive. Is it worth just retreating with everyone? Because one thing sector pods are is slow. And if that mechtoid comes out first with the sectoid commander and if the drones come out, I can try and uh Uh you see how much health it has, oh my god. Uh what can you do from there? Can you just see the drones? You can probably just see the drones, right? Yeah. Hmm. This is not an ideal situation. I won't lie. <laughs> so how are you doing? No, that's not uh, what I wanted. What can Nick see now? A drone. And with double tap. So maybe I could take out those drones without using the... Um, Without using the alien grenade. And then I could punch the sect pod. For... Is it not 12 damage? Uh, it's annoying that you can't see unless it's... I think it's 12. Um, <laughs> I mean, that still leaves it incredibly well, uh, well armed. But... Uh, And then we could maybe try and do a... We might be able to kill it. We might be able to kill it. If we do... 12 damage and 11 damage. So it takes it there. And then that takes it, it there. And then it just has 7 more damage. And we can try and run and gun with just... Oh, if I can take it out in the first turn, you know. These are all the enemies left on the map. It'll mean we've got a sectoid commander and a mechtoid left. But... We've got two ghost grenades. Well, we've oh, I'm so going to regret this. Oh, as if you miss for 85. As if you do that. Well, a drone is the least of our worries, to be perfectly honest. But really? Two 85%. Uh, well, we're still going for it. We're still going for it. Because why not? Uh, we do have to trigger that overwatch though. So can we do that? Uh, can we do that on Justin? No. Oh God, why do we team go on overwatch? Run and gun. Oh, I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this. Is that not in cover? How is that not in cover? Move into 
Oh my god, that was on our watch as well. Ugh. Come on, sector pod, don't kill Justin. What's he even into you? Oh, that didn't even trigger it. <laughs> okay. Rapid fire at the sector pod, please, for 81%. Three. <laughs> Four. <laughs> okay, if these odds all come off, <laughs> this is actually a kill. <laughs> so, yeah. 86%. Come on, make this shot. That's a miss. Oh, this was such a bad idea. I can ghost grenade them all. I can ghost grenade them all. Of course you can. I can ghost grenade them all. It's fine. Uh, we might take an overwatch shot on uh, Vanessa here. Uh, which is the thing... Which is the square actually next to the square it's on? Because I need to be able to punch it. Um, if this doesn't work, I'll be so pissed. I'm going to have to go there, I think. And this is going to trigger... Yeah, that's going to be a hit as well. Oh, that's not too bad. Come on. Yes, slow motion is very pretty. Now let me do something. Okay. Beat the hell out of it. Only s oh god, it's got damage reduction. Okay. Well, that's shitty. Um, can we do anything? We probably can't do anything. Seventy nine, fifty five, fifty five. Nice, that's something. Uh, yes, okay. Sorry, cat, cat attack. Um, well, you are going to move in with these guys so that you're in uh, ghost mode as well, because it would be silly not to. And then ghost grenade. Let's go need everyone, please. This might take mean that crash and uh, Nyx take significant hits. We'll just have to see. Good, they buffed. I was worried it was going to... Uh, Right. Is that preparing to shoot or? No, it's just a wild random shot in the air, apparently. Fine. And the drone is probably going to repair the sector pod. Yep. What are you going to do? Repair the sector pod, probably. Yep. <laughs> Okay, but we've got everyone there, point fucking blank, on that sector pod now. So hopefully, uh, yeah, 79%. Does it not have hollow targeting on it? Obviously that maybe doesn't matter when you were. Uh, but Crash has got bullet storm, I think. Or maybe not, no, because we've got hollow targeting. Okay, yeah, um, fine. Anyone you can just take at least take a pistol shot at. Well, regardless, uh, maybe it is worth launching a grenade rather than obviously everyone, not with everyone here. These point blank shots are probably my best bet, though. I can always ghost grenade everyone again. Actually, that's not a bad notion. Okay. Because I, I need these hits to happen, realistically. I just need them to happen. Okay, this is a guaranteed hit. So we're going to take it. Um, because everything's kind of cut in half anyway. And that's up to 11. It's eight. I don't want to take that. I, I need to do some damage. Um, so we're going to take another kinetic strike. Kapow. Uh, Justin, rapid fire, please. 
281% again. Three damage. Three down. Four damage. And please hit with this one. Hundred percent. No, not what I. Uh, not the drone. Oh God. <laughs> okay. And hundred percent damage. Eighty uh, percent. Let's take that. Nice. We're just going to ghost grenade everyone again, to be honest. Um, and if you could kill them, that would be really nice. No. Of course you can't. Why would you be able to? It would be foolish to be able to do that. Um, can you ghost grenade yourself in that? What's the range? I'm mildly worried that this will block it somehow. Can you just throw it from here, actually? Is that possible? Not quite possible. Oh, fuck. And that's... <sighs> but is that because of the drone? Because if it's because of the drone, then fuck it. But I don't know if it's because of the sector pod. And I don't want to have an un... Oh my god. Just going to go there and hope for the best, I think. Ghost grenade. Ghost grenade these guys again, please. Anytime you're ready. Come on. Uh. Why didn't it ghost Megara? He was easily within the thing. Oh, and I get two shots. Oh, lag! Oh, right. He was easily within that range. He, he was coming up red. Everything. All that good stuff. Nyx is taken over. Oh, Megara's probably dead. That's annoying. That's not really annoying. He was definitely within the ghost range. I mean, yeah, he's dead. Setbot's just going to do that again. Oh, well, at least the drone's down. That's something. If you shoot a devil dog, that would be... Oh, no, it's gone down. Okay, it's actually, that's good. It's gone down for a um, for an AoE attack. So. Right. Okay, let's do this in the right order. Justin. Good old Justin. You have lightning reflexes. So you, my friend... Where is that mechtoid? Well, I can go all the way over here, apparently, so I don't know where it is. Um, you need to free up Nyx. You definitely need to free up Nyx. I think we might have saved Megara here. Okay. Go here. There it is. That's fine. you got lightning reflexes. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. Okay. You can't have run and gun. You're just going to have to take a hit. You're just going to have to take the hit. Sorry, buddy. 100%. Free up Nyx, please. I don't want to take a hit from Nyx next turn. Okay. Now we get this animation, which is awesome! Oh, we didn't get the animation thing. Oh well. There is an animation for killing them. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I didn't realise the explosion was that big. I. Oh god. Well, he'll easily stabilise. We need to kill this mechtoid in three turns, or he's dead. 
That's eminently doable. Come on. Let's start piling on the damage right fucking now. Ugh. Tail end of this mission has not gone terribly well. Um. Oh. Pfft, can't reload. Um. Restorative mist, maybe? Might not be a bad idea. Yeah, might as well. A uh, hit from a mech toy shouldn't kill us at this stage. Um. Ninety-eight percent up to. Um, okay. What What are you doing? Tail end of this mission has been really fucking glitchy. And a bit of hollow targeting. Uh, but that's probably going to be it. So we'll take a hit from the mechtoid. Someone will. But it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't even go through our armor. Yeah, you're not going to bleed out. It's fine. Uh, you won't get the kill, unfortunately, but there we go. Let's lay some hol hollow targeting down. And we just need one more damage. Shame that Devil Dog can't do it. But so it goes. I'm not fucking about. I am not fucking about. Oh, well that was, uh, that wasn't the best engagement of a sector pod I've ever seen. In fact, I go as so far as to say that was the worst engagement of a sector pod I've ever, ever done. Um, it's a real shame that ghost grenade at the end, maybe it glitched, maybe I, maybe I was just looking at it wrong or I mis misclicked slightly, I don't know. Um, I don't know, comment, tell me, because I'm not going to watch it back. Um, <laughs> but that was unfortunate. But, so, it's fine, he's only down for eight days. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. Uh, we've got two autopsies to do. We've got a whole load of supplies. 25 mels, that's nice. Um, some damaged stuff. We're going to go and uh, sell that off straight away. Uh, yeah. Could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Okay. We'll uh, leave the episode there. I think it's probably gone on long enough already. So there we go. Our first sect pod engagement. What a clusterfuck. Excellent. Good viewing. Probably. Maybe. You enjoy my pain. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.